Does your furry friend take over your bed every night? It's time to reclaim your space while giving them the comfort they deserve with the coldest, cozy dog bed. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description to buy now on Amazon. It appears the fallout from Halo Infinite has had a severe impact on developer 343 Industries, as its future with the franchise is brought into question. While Halo Infinite was the best game in the series to be developed by 343 Industries, who picked up the reins from Bungie after Halo Reach, the lack of support after launch meant it quickly fell from the multiplayer shooter conversation. Some ex-employees at 343 have blamed Xbox management for the game's failure, shortly after the team was affected by mass layoffs in 2023. Last year, known Halo insider Bathrobe Spartan suggested 343 was set to be taken off active development of the Halo franchise entirely, as it pivots to overseeing work by other third-party studios. That same insider has now shared a new thread on Twitter about the situation at 343, where he outlines how the studio has been downsized significantly over the past year. According to Bathroom Spartan, who spoke to 12 ex-employees from 343, there are less than 280 people working at the studio as of May 2024, with roughly 50 to 60 people let go on top of the prior layoffs. Of those left, only 30% are apparently still working on projects related to game content production, with the rest mainly being business-orientated roles and producers. It's said the majority of employees have been working on other Xbox Studio titles over the past year, with the most Halo Infinite content being handled by contracted studios. This is said to be reflective of a new production method at 343. According to the Insider, the studio is now hiring lead positions to manage the concept and pre-production phases on future games, but it will outsource the actual work to other studios, something 343 did with Halo Wars 2 and developer Creative Assembly. The state of 343 Industries, sense structure headcount, impact on Halo Infinite, new production method. A I won't have time to make a proper thread like usual, you'll soon know why, so you'll get a TLDR version instead. AIPIC.twitter.com slash E38LTDZFKP. It's claimed two projects are already underway with two contracted studios, but both are still in the pre-production phase. One is described as a PvP bigger scale orientated project in line with Halo Infinite's legacy, which might be the next mainline Halo game, while the other may be the rumored remake of the original Halo. According to the insider's sources, however, these projects are at least two years away from any official release, so don't expect to hear anything anytime soon. This change in approach is described as a cost-effective way to help produce content for games at a reliable pace in the future, in the hope of not reproducing what happened to Halo Infinite in regards to production delays. According to the sources, Halo Infinite did not meet its commercial goals, which led future content to be cancelled beyond what was already outsourced to other studios, such as the addition of The Forge which came out a year after launch. While 343 has not officially commented on the situation, it is known that they were badly affected by the general Xbox layoffs from earlier in the year, and they've not announced any new project since Halo Infinite's launch in 2021. New Fallout game released today by fans as London Mod edges closer to release. EA Sports FC 25 cover star leaked and he's playing in the Euros right now. Concord beta review not as bad as it looks. Bioshock 4 screenshot leaks and it sure looks like Bioshock. Despite having a strong showcase during Summer Game Fest this year, Microsoft hasn't had the best time of late, thanks to its confusing changes to Xbox Game Pass, although it has been hinting that it will have a lot to talk about at Gamescom next month. Email GameCentral at Metro.co.uk, leave a comment below, follow us on Twitter, and sign up to our newsletter. To submit inbox letters and readers features more easily, without the need to send an email, just use our Submit Stuff page here. For more stories like this, check our gaming page. More, Microsoft will stop marketing Xbox consoles in Europe claims insider. More, new Xbox ad tries to put you off from buying a console. More, Xbox Game Pass ditches day one games and raises prices for standard tier. Sign up to all the exclusive gaming content, latest releases before they're seen on the site.